Have you ever wanted to add those tiny delicate details to your colour pencil drawing but your paper just won't take any more pigment? I use my electric eraser to create those final details and by pulling the pigment back off the paper and then adding more colour to the artwork you can really create so many more layers and so many more tiny details at the end of the artwork. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Derwent Electric Eraser because that's my favourite eraser. Now what you'll notice is that it's quite a flat tip when it comes straight out of the packet. So rather than keeping that flat tip, I create a nice pointed tip on the end. And I'll show you how to create that nice pointed tip. We actually use our sanding block. So it's very helpful to have the sanding block. Now turn your eraser on and just drag it while it's on across the sandpaper. Keep it on a bit of an angle though so that you can really create that tip. Now it takes a few minutes to actually wear that down to the cone-like tip that I've created but be patient, it's only the first time that it takes so long. and just hold it up on more of an angle to really get that sharp tip. That's looking really good, we can use that now. So that's the pointed tip that we're after and you can see how it's a nice cone-like shape. And now with that shape in place, I can begin to add my little tiny details and markings by drawing into the shape. And I'm going to do that for you now so you can see what I mean. This is really exciting, this is the big moment. So you prepared your razor and now watch this. Wow, look at that. You wouldn't believe that colour pencil could erase so beautifully. So it's important to realise that with your electric eraser, you're not just erasing mistakes or areas that you don't like, you're actually using it to draw into the colour pencil. And I find that really exciting. Not only can you draw into it to remove little details, the great part about it is that you can also add some more colour afterwards. Let me show you on my apple here. So what I've been doing with my apple, I created all the textures, I created all the layers underneath so that I could get the tone and all the different areas of light and shade and I'm very satisfied with those. But then towards the end, I just needed to add a few tiny little details and there is no way that I would be able to add those if I just simply applied the pencil. Nothing happens, it just slides off. But when I use my electric eraser, I can just remove that tiny bit of colored pencil. And this is really exciting because it gives you so many more possibilities to continue with the artwork. And I've just chosen a lovely blush pink here and created a very fine sharp tip using my super point sharpener. And then I can just add some color pigment into that. And remember that if your tip snips, you can just prepare that again. And just add that bit more pigment into the paper and you can even add another colour on the top because you've removed all those layers. And it's as simple as that. That's how you use your electric eraser.